Okay. Now, uh, how storm I can see? Okay. Now this is the question that you asked me that you have five node Hadoop cluster and you would like to run name node on one machine, resource manager on one machine, data node uh, on the rest of the machines. And also you have asked me that how can I run secondary name node on some other machine? Okay. So when you wanted to run a different processes yeah. on different machines, then you have to run it manually. So let's say machine one. So ideally, when you run the start hyphen all dot sh, so when you run start hyphen all dot sh, mm -hmm. <coughs> start hyphen all dot sh. So what it does is it will take up the master machine. It will take up the uh, entries in your master's file. It will take the entries. It will take the host name from your master's file, right? And uh, whatever the entry is there in the master's file, so obviously you will give one entry. Uh, let's say if you have given one entry, then in that post, in that machine, in that machine, it will run name node secondary name node and resource manager and it will run and then and then and it runs data node and these the data node and resource manager sorry node manager node. In all the machines which are specified in which file slaves, slaves. File. so that's how it happens that's how the start hyphen all dot sh works but if you want to run your processes, let's say uh, that's what you're asking that I want to run name node on one machine, resource manager on another yeah, yeah. and secondary name on another machine, then you have to start those processes manually. Okay. So whatever the machine one, let's say if you want to run the, if you want to make this machine one, uh, if you want to run the name node, pro name node process on this machine one, you have to start like Hadoop name node. This will, this particular command, this command will start name node process on this machine. On let's say machine two, you would like to run the uh, secondary name node process. So you say Hadoop secondary name node. So this particular command will start secondary name node on this machine. And on machine three, on machine three, you would like to start the resource manager. So you say Hadoop, sorry, not Hadoop this time. This would be yarn resource manager. And this command this command will start resource manager on this machine. Okay. That's yeah. Okay. So if you want to run it. Uh, different different processes on different machine then you have to start them manually okay so okay uh, so so in real real life cluster tab to hum nahi karenge na because uh, does ambari and cloud era manager work on a different way yeah kyunki hum to bolte na ki we like the advantage because like if we have 100 of cluster tab to difficult ho jayega na using only this methodology these, right these three processes need to be run manually so what you do, you generally start, you generally run your, you, you write your own script. Mm. It's very straightforward to write our own script. Mm. Write your own script uh, to start and to start the processes. Okay. It's a one, it's a, I would say it's not more than five lines of code, a shell script that will do this activity. Okay. On Apache Hadoop, but yes, as you have suggested in Cloudera Manager or Source Manager, sorry, Cloudera Manager or the Ambari will help us doing the entire thing uh, in an automated way. We, okay, so in real life, we we don't use uh, a plain e Hadoop, right? We use either a Cloudera Manager. Or... Right now, you have the option of going with a Ambari and Cloudera Manager, but yes, most of the companies have taken Apache Hadoop into production also. Oh, plain Apache Hadoop. Yes, okay. plain Hadoop, right.
ओके ओके सर and uh, to answer your third question how using the master machine we are able to run all the process in all the nodes there are no agents you don't have because there are agents what kind of agents you are talking about uh, ambani actually, agent no no see uh, actually uh, what my doubt is when we okay uh, when we say start all dart sh it will run master process in the uh, master machine yeah. and all uh, in the data node it will run the corresponding demons my question is how is it possible does it do it through ssh e communication i mean it does as it does an ssh you uh, you can open the start hyphen all dot sh script shell script and you will understand how it does it yeah okay you can open the shell script file i i have i am not yet open so you can open your shell script file and uh, you can see that how does it do it so it does an ssh so uh, okay because i mean jaise i mean when we install the plane uh, uh, hadoop there are no agents running of course there should not right? it is only why you are confused with the agents what the agent will do kyunki matlab jaise sh what i heard what i am aware of agents ke through bhi it helps in in uh, this agents see there are five agents are required is just to monitor it see uh, there are thousands of nodes there are 100 nodes um, hadoop cluster right yeah let's assume that you have 100 node hadoop cluster and one of the machine the data node has failed just one minute guys just one minute okay so what i was saying uh, i forgot agent see uh, as i was explaining you that if you have a 100 node or 200 or 1000 node hadoop cluster and assume two or three machines has gone down how will you come to know? until unless you have to monitor it right you have to see the name node yeah. you then only will come to know yeah uh, agent what they will do they will continuously monitor their own process and the agent what they do if something has gone wrong with some processes they will immediately uh, inform to the server wherever it is running and then you will automatically come into the web ui that's how the ambari agents or the cloudera manager agents or the cloudera manager agents whatever you want to say they continuously monitor the services uh, which is running on that machine and they give it to the server and that will help us in uh, quickly identifying that which process has gone down and which machine that is the only mm -hmm. that is the only use of the agents now ssh they do an ssh see you can start as i have explained you know, in previous sections that if you want to start and stop the processes on some other machine you require an ssh that's it and the command and the command i know uh, if i want to run data node if i want to run data node on some machine Mm -hmm. So I just need to say Hadoop data node, and this command will start the and this command will start the data node process. And I want to make it as a demonize, so I'll say no hub, and I will put an m percent here. That's it. My entire data node process uh, will run in the background. Okay. 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 Yes, Tom. Uh, it makes sense because me, you know, we doubt हो गया था कि without agents, how come you know from uh, server A we're able to run uh, demons on e server B? Yeah, it makes sense. We do SSH to that or server run this command and then e exit from the server. Yeah. That might be the way, right? Yeah, that is the only thing. In our part, Jarod, that's how it works. Okay. 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 Well, thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. So now uh, let us uh, uh, do. let us bring up our ambari today and we will do the ljf shell commands in the later sections in the later part of it in the later module so today what okay. i will do we will uh, in the last class i think i hope that you have you are done with your multi node hadoop setup yeah 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 yes that i have done yes, yes. and today we are going to bring up the ambari ui that's your ambari i would say we will bring up the ambari and using the ambari we will do a one node Hadoop setup again single node Hadoop setup but through Ambari. Okay, uh, through Ambari, yeah. Yes, through Ambari we'll do a single node Hadoop setup. I don't have any machines, and uh, right now you can see that uh, in the last class whatever we have done, I actually have I actually terminated, so I have to bring it from the scratch. Okay. Yeah, so let me do that. Okay. So I'm selecting, and I know what all things I need. I will go for a N3 dot X large machine. And Ambari does requires a lot of memory because. and also we are going to run the uh, hdp 
that's your hortonworks development platform distribution hdp distribution of hardware hortonworks distribution of hadoop on the same machine so that's why i am going for a bigger machine here 15 gb and a four cpus configure instance details i want one add storage i will give 80 gb of a storage okay <laughs> add tax and this time i will give the tag of let me let me not give 80 it's too much add tax i'm giving 50 and i will give apache ambari apache ambari and next configure security groups and this time i will just blindly uh, it requires one other i mean to say which port i think 80 port uh, it opens the ambari ui but i will for the time being i will say all traffic i don't want to go into those intricacies of opening the ports and everything uh, where is my custom tcp rule protocol okay where all traffic all all from anywhere and i say review and launch launch it will take some time so meanwhile let us see uh, what all things we are going to do and what is apache ambari and everything so let us bring up our slides so in this module we gonna do a, what we gonna do is to set up one node hadoop cluster one node hadoop cluster using ambari using apache ambari or ambari one node what kind of hadoop cluster which distribution of hadoop cluster we going to set up which distribution hdp hortonworks right yes hortonworks distribution <laughs> platform or uh, sometimes i we also say hot and work distribution of hadoop yeah so so we are going to see that in this but uh, in this module and what what all things we do preparing os what are the various things we how to whatever the various thing we will we'll learn preparing the os for the ambari installation what all things we do how do we prepare our os host names are very important uh, preparing the proper host names so we will not work with local host or host names like uh, uh, my host name not like this we will not never work like those host names we will give a fully qualified domain name like my host if you want to have a host name as my host name so say my host name dot uh, cgi dot com that basically says that uh, which domain you belong so basically we'll add a domain so that the machines can be the so that machines are fully qualified so the machines can uh, are more the names are more friendly and as well as uh, it will gives us an idea it will gives us an idea that which domain it belongs to and moreover having a domain with a host for a machine will help us in doing the kerbero security so having a domain is very important a kind of this kind of a host name is very important because it will help us in doing the kerbero security okay <coughs> yeah and then we are going to setting the ambari repo okay and then we'll see that how to bring up one node hadoop cluster using ambari wizard when i say ambari wizard it's basically using ambari ui okay uh this slide is i uh, we have we have uh, i have described it earlier as well 
in a pseudo mode or a single node hadoop setup you basically mean that uh, you are working on a one machine if the one machine could be a physical machine it could be a virtual machine right and then you des you assign that machine as a master as well as a slave and since it is acting as a master you will have name node resource manager and secondary name node running and since it is also acting as a slave so data node and the node manager in nutshell uh, in a single node all the five processes runs on the same machine in a multi node hadoop setup you designate one of the machines as a master machine and the rest of the machines becomes a slave in the if this machine is acting as a master so it will have only three processes name node secondary name node resource manager and these two machines are are acting as a slave so they will have two processes running data node and the node manager data node and the node manager nobody stops you to configure your master machine to act also as a slave and if your master machine is also acting as a slave it will have also two more processes data node and the node manager running on that machine uh, ambari works only on 64 bit os that's what it, this particular slide is telling you that you have to work with a 64 bit os it could be red hat linux centos ubuntu suze and uh, centos 7 is used in the training but yes we are using a, our amazon red hat linux 7 Please make sure you have given enough RAM, 8 to 10 GB. I, if you have observed, I have taken M3.x large machine, which has 15 GB of RAM and 4 CPUs. And you are connected to good network. Yes, of course, I am going to good network. But when you are working with the virtual machine, make sure you are connected to good network. Because, if, because right now, we are going to install the Ampache Ambari using the network connectivity. And in the next section, we will install Ambari without the network connectivity. Because uh, that I will tell you why we want to have the local uh, without network connectivity when it is important. Basically, I am re referring to a topic which is known as local repository setup, wherein you will uh, install all the repository on your local box. And whenever you do a yum install anything, it does not bring anything from the network, but it, wherever the repository is there, it will bring it from there. And yeah. okay, yes, so this is your network time protocol which has to be, which is important here for the uh, maintaining the skewness of the time. So it is important. You install the NTP, then have the proper host names. If you are working with the, if you are working with uh, uh, a virtual machine, so make sure that you give proper host names. And you, okay, when you run just simple host name, it will give you the short name of your machine, uh, host name minus F, it gives you the fully qualified domain machine. And also please consider changing the host name from local host to some meaningful host name and domain name. Uh, and in the hands-on document, it is mentioned how to create a proper host name. You can see that and we will, and if you're working on a virtual machine, uh, you will do that activity. Uh, since I'm working on AWS, I'm not going to do that because it's already a fully qualified, I mean to say fully qualified domain name. It has a compute yeah. internal, that's okay. But if I want to change it, I can change it, but I'm not going to change it right now. So Apache Ambari is basically gives, it's an UI which comes and makes our life easier with respect to the management and the monitoring of the entire Hadoop cluster. For the managing the Hadoop cluster, for monitoring, for configurations, for bringing up the node, for securing, for, for anything, Ambari UI is the single stop wherein we have to do everything using the Ambari UI. Uh, we have to do minimal command line operations minimum minimal minimal i would say minimal not very exhaustive as we have done in the last two few classes that uh, yeah. installation of uh, bringing up the java bringing up the hadoop configuring start all and all that such we have done it everything the command line but when you are working with the ambari ui make sure you have to do all the activities through the ui itself with minimal uh, intervention with minimal manual intervention you will be uh, uh, with minimal in, in manual intervention is required, maybe in the, I think uh, it's in the name node HA. When you are going to configure HA, then you have to run that command, a uh, few commands manually. Also during the uh, Kerberos security, you have to perform some manual steps. But remember, okay. there are a uh, minimal manual steps are required. Uh, so? Yeah. Uh, I have one question. See, if Apache uh, 
Ambari and Cloud Era Manager are very efficient. You know, they make our lives easy. Then why would a company go for uh, like a uh, plain vanilla? This they Apache don't want Hadoop for, to set up. That's why they don't go. Only only they few core contributors like uh, Hadoop, uh, sorry, uh, Yahoo, Facebook, and some big guys have taken Apache Hadoop into production. But uh, smaller okay. guys, they cannot take it up until unless they know what happens because they, there has to be some kind of a um, uh, management and the monitoring system. They do it, but yes, uh, most of the guys either go for a cloud run manager or either go for a hot and works. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, so now Apache Ambari is your uh, graphical user interface for the end to end management monitoring the Hadoop. You can manage the configurations, you can monitor the services, you can create the alerts, and then if any alerts are, if any critical things are, if any critical alerts are coming up, you can send an email also. Send the email to the stakeholders. In case of critical alerts, what can be a one critical alert? That HDFA storage capacity yeah. you have to put it is greater than 80%. Has consumed more than 80% of or your storage or your storage is more than 80 percent you send thing like that it can be secured from the outsiders it can be integrated with their existing LDAP systems right so all these things whatever I mentioned we're gonna do those activity as a part of our training now Ambari UI is a straightforward activities so what we what we what I'm gonna do is let me just bring up my machine and open up my hands-on document and start doing the installation and whatever you have seen, whatever you have done as a part of your Apache Hadoop installation in the last uh, few classes, uh, the same thing will be done, but with a click. You don't have to, you have to run minimal, uh, minimal manual intervention, intervention will be there. Okay. So we are going to do this act, this activity, setting up Apache under uh, Apache Ambari with internet connectivity. What I mean here when I'm saying uh, setting up Apache Ambari with internet connectivity is repositories, repositories. So Apache Ambari installation. When I'm saying that, it, I, what I mean here is all the components, what components, Ambari components, Ambari components, HDP components, yeah. everything will be JDK also, right? JDK will be downloaded from the internet. In the next setup, when I say local repository, then nothing will be downloaded from the internet. The next topic which we'll study. So in that I will do a local repository setup wherein nothing will be downloaded from the internet. We will create a repository locally and then download from there and then download components from there, from our local repository. Okay. Right now, we are going to do this installation with internet connectivity. Uh, the reason is it will be very quick and it can be done very fast. But remember that since I have I have used the word internet connectivity, make sure you are connected to very good network. In AWS, I don't I would not face any problem. But the moment you have done this, the moment you are doing this exercise on your uh, virtual machines then yeah. make sure you are connected to very good network or else mm, the installation might not even complete also or it will take too much of a time and and I it might it might happen that the timeouts are also coming up okay. so the setting the host name this is not I'm gonna do okay let me first bring up my machine
okay let me uh, enter into my ambari machine as is a jambal okay so i am inside my machine and uh, the first step is to have the conf uh, is to configure your host name if you see right now my host name is domain is uh, as this part this is internal ip it which region it belongs to and then compute dot internal if you would like to have a, a meaningful host name other than this then you can very well go ahead and uh, follow the instructions that follow the instructions here in the hands on document that how to change the host name of the machine okay mm -hmm. so currently i will not uh, go ahead with my uh, changing the host name i work with this host name yes okay uh, yeah. so the first thing is to download the repository uh, before that i would uh, install my wget sudo yum minus y install wget uh, if you see minus y is basically to type ps you don't have to type ps you know what you are installing so you say minus y or else if you omit this minus y it will ask you yes or no yes so let me just uh, do this uh, uh, see this if i omit y, minus y so it will ask me whether you want yes or no whether you want to install it or not <coughs> and i have to type it okay so i say yes so you see that i have it has asked me this uh, uh, prompt okay i have to install my ntp so let me do that and this time i will say sudo yum minus y which i say boss yes i want to install it and i and this time it will not ask me to, uh, to type yes or no okay and i i'm starting my ntpd so i'm not starting my ntpd it is just i'm enabling it Enabling does not mean starting. Why we are doing the enabling? We are making sure that even if our machine reboots, uh, the NTPD service should automatically restart. So that's why we are enabling it. And this command will start the NTPD service. sudo systemctl start ntpd.service, it will start it. If you want to check, you can have this status command which will tell you whether it is active or inactive. Okay. So in this case, in my case, it's active, so it's fine. Okay. okay. Now this command, what we're gonna do here, guys? Please see. Uh, so this command, a sudo wget wget. You understand that you are minus nv. Okay. You are uh, downloading this repository ambari dot repo, and you are putting inside etc yum dot repos dot d folder. So if you go inside slash etc. Yum.repos.d. That's your common location for all the repositories. And I hope you know that whenever you do an yum install, everything is searched through this repository. Uh, uh, so actually, this part I'm not aware of. So what is dot repo and uh, this location? That's the Linux. That's Linux internals. So everything works. So whenever you run yum minus y install, you know that right? Huh? It goes and uh, brings up something you have seen you have run this command previously also right have you run this yeah. command? yeah how does it know that from where to pick it up everything see everywhere there should be some configuration there should be some linking that i have to download this particular software from the internet from some location right it yes. cannot go and search the entire internet no yeah so if yes. you know so if you see there is a one base repo in your case, uh, CentOS 7 will be there or whatever. Here is a Red Hat repo. Okay. So if you open this Red Hat repo, okay, it's not here anything. If you see this Red Hat repo, so this is your ID, this is the name, this is the mirror list. Can you see this here? Yeah. Everything will be actually it will be hitting every uh, link, and it tries to search for whatever you have uh, searched for. If it does not, if it does not find, then it will say that I have not found. For example, I am I am trying to install 
some repository which is unknown to this uh, for example sudo m minus y install so can you see that it tries to search everywhere but it didn't find anything and says and says that error nothing to do so it has actually searched all the packages the dot repository files and this dot repository file is there if you open up the ambari ui it will ambari repository file i'm very sorry ambari repository the up uh, this is the id and this is the base url you click on this base url and let us paste it here on our browser okay uh sent to us seven that's fine i'm hmm. don't worry it is not coming up because uh, the specified key does not exist that's okay okay i what i will do here i uh, don't worry about that don't worry about that okay so okay. let me say sent to us seven it will not come up hmm. how do i Okay, let me. I can show you something like this. Yum repo list. Yum repo list. Mm -hmm. Yum list. Ambari. <coughs> oh, I am not using sudo, that was the reason. Sudo yum repolis and it should show me showed me update somebody and what I wanted to show you is yum list and grep uh, ambari so it will display me okay it's not there anything let me say yum list it should display me basically all the ambari repositories yum minus y install ambari okay. hyphen server so if you see here i'm not sure for for some reason that ambari repolis is not working but uh, when i'm trying to uh, install my ambari server it is installing everything you can see that it's installing the ambari server postgresql postgresql libs Every PostgreSQL is the database which will be used by the Ambari server to put all its configurations mm -hmm. and installing it. Once it has installed, where, yeah. So where first installing the Ambari server? Ambari server. Okay. Ambari server. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we are going to do this setup. We have first installed the component. We have not yet started the Ambari server. We have just installed okay. the components of Ambari server. And now we are doing the setup. Now please observe here that you will do the same steps, whatever we have done as a part of our Apache Hadoop installation. So SC Linux okay. is set to permissive mode and temporarily disabled. Okay to continue? Yes. If you remember, we have done the SC Linux disable, uh, disable, disabling of SC Linux. Yes, customize yeah, did. user account. I don't want to customize any user account as of now. So I'll press N. So you can see that this is the default values. So I'll press N. Adjust okay. number of permissions. Now it is checking. Right now, whether you want to go for which JDK and all. So I will go with Oracle JDK 8. So you can put your choice 1, 2, and 3. I am, and the default it's mentioned here. I will say 1. It will install the JDK 8. And it we have to accept the license. Yeah. So yes, <coughs> and it's installing the JDK. So this Ambari server itself doesn't require Java, right? Because it is now installing the Java. 
तो फिर ये इंस्टॉल कैसे हो गया इट्स ऑट सो यू हैव डन द इंस्टॉलेशन और नॉट लास्ट टाइम मैनुअल या सो कौन सा वाला इट्स डूइंग इट्स स्क्रिप्ट इट्स इट्स नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू व्हाई अंबारी हैज केम अप फॉर यू टू सो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू रन द कमांड्स मैनुअली ओके या एंड एडवांस डेटाबेस कॉन्फिगरेशन आई हैव नॉट टेकन आई हैव मेड इट एज अ नो एंड इट्स इनिशियलाइजिंग द पोस्टग्रेस डेटाबेस about to start post and it has started the postgres sql server as well and now uh, our ambari setup is successful now it's a time to start our ambari uh, um what do you say we have to start our ambari ui or ambari server okay so we'll say ambari server start that starts for that's that will start our ambari server and i always uh, and i always um, uh, prefer to see the logs also which is under this location you can see that server log so you can see that there if anything uh, fishy is going wrong or if server is not able to start up or whatever it is you actually should say should see that tail minus f <coughs> yeah it's not, i'm just it's anyway started now once it throws that uh, once it gives you that uh, uh, uh that it has started you can always check the status and the status should show you that it is running yes. now you have to um visit this page to bring up the ui okay for that i will take up my public dns go to my and say 8080 80. and that brings up your ambari ui let me see yes it brings up ambari ui the username is admin the password is also admin okay <coughs> that's it now you have yes. you are starting and let's say now this is the ambari ui and if you want and this is the first page it will appear it will come to you where it last to create the clusters and everything so we have to create a cluster i will say launch install wizard and i can give my cluster name here test cluster and click on the next uh, i will go with the http 2.3 which is the latest and the greatest one i will it's okay to see the advanced repository uh, advanced repository is basically it will select the or oh, you have to select the os red hat 6 what is the hdp 2.3 repositories hdp utils repository red hat 7 suze 7 it's okay uh, right now we are doing the internet connectivity and it knows where to pick it from next and here is the host name we have to give that which uh, where uh, where on which host i want to install my hdp components so i have anyways only one host name and and the, on this host only i have this ambari ui also running and i am going to install on this machine my one node hadoop setup one node hadoop cluster this is my uh ui i can choose the file here and that would be my pem file okay this is my pem file and i will say register and okay i cannot ssh the uh, i have to give the ssh user account in my case i have to give as an ec2 user mm -hmm. because the pem file is for the ec2 user and uh, as such root user does not exist uh, you do you say sudo su minus but it is through this user only okay and it will confirm the host um, and while confirm the host it will check lot of things uh, you can always click on the installing and it will check uh, whether all the necessary uh, specifications has been met or not if not met it will throw it will give you the warnings as well okay so now it is installing those binaries no right? no it is not installing it is just doing the host server verification acha host verification so, yes okay. please wait while the hosts are being checked for potential problems sorry <clears throat> 
all the host checks are passed you can it's better if you you see what all things it does it it checks transparent huge page issues jdk issues disk issues repository issues firewall process package everything it checks a lot of things it checks and then you once it has confirmed and you are okay you say next and here you are going to choose the services and not and it has a lot of services you can see that right i don't want all the services i will go with hdfs yarn i don't want page hive on hbase pig scoop oz let and let the zookeeper be there uh flu i don't want zookeeper also as of now okay okay i want ambari metrics don't worry it will it will give you if it requires anything if i say next okay. and if it requires any other services to be running uh, any if it wants any other services then it will ask you for that you did not select the zookeeper but it is needed by other services you selected so we will automatically add the zookeeper yes so it will ask you so you don't have to worry and since there is only one machine you can see on on this machine it has it is going to start secondary name node name node history server app timeline server resource manager zookeeper and metrics collector all these every all this is going to be run on the same machine and it is showing you only the masters because it's a master section right now now you have to assign the slaves you click on the next and then uh, what all things you want on the slaves so on this machine i want data node as well node manager also you right now let us not talk about let us we'll talk about nfs gateway later so okay. next <coughs> and if you remember i was telling about the name node dot directories remember this property you remember this dfs dot name node dot uh, name dot dir similarly for this dfs dot data node dot data dot dir java heap size everything every configurations is present over here you can all you can check for your uh, fs dot default fs it has taken a different a port that is fine and now once you are okay you say next it is asking to review okay fine i am okay with the review that what all things it will just display you what is the admin name what is the cluster name how many hosts are there what are the repositories what are the services you gonna install and everything it is gonna tell you on which machine you want to and everything and basically name node is going to run on which machine secondary name node is going to run on which machine and everything and say deploy and it's going to deploy your um services and this is a time consuming process wherein it's going to uh, download um okay um all those hdp components onto your local machine and it's and it's a very time consuming because of the internet so it downloads from the so internet here, right Here, this is this is where I wanted to tell you that you should be connected to very good internet connection. Where uh, you should have very good internet connectivity. Okay. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, I mean, following it. Okay. Okay. We have uh, done it, and uh, tomorrow, if I want uh, like some other services to run, can I, can we do it again through Ambari? Of course. Everything, whatever you can think of, you can do. I don't want these services. I want these services. I want new services. Uh huh. Everything can be done. That can okay, okay, okay. So it's not uh, just one uh, time activity. No. Assuming we did the base installation and tomorrow, if I want to say pig, I can do that, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. So it's gonna take a little time. And uh, let me see okay. what's happening here. Yeah, it is trying to install Hadoop two dot three star dot yarn. It's almost going to download thirteen or fourteen gig of data. Oh, okay. thirteen or fourteen gig of everything. I mean, HDP component is too big. Mm -hmm. So basic, basically, HDP. You can see that now installation is in progress. Uh, it has yeah. installed name node. Data node, secondary name node, and now starting to waiting for start to data node and all. Now it will be little, now it will be little faster. Okay. 
but uh, so uh, they take the source code from apache itself of course right yes hotton works every cloud run manager also takes the source code from the uh, apache hadoop itself because they cannot uh, you can there should not be difference in the functionality right yeah yeah mm -hmm. So, uh, just asking one question: If Hortonworks fixes uh, one bug, uh, they contribute it back to Apache, right? And same bug would be uh, given back to Cloudera also, right? The fix for that. Uh, I'm not sure that two two different companies will work in the same way or not. Okay. 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 Fine. But at least Hortonworks it uh, provides it contributes back to Apache, right? Apache. Both of them. Anyone, it's an LGPL license. Hadoop is works. Hadoop has a license which is say that you open source. But anything which is an open source, uh, and if you are using the code, you have to contribute it back. Back, yeah. Okay. So between Cloudera and Hortonwork, which is more deployed in industries? Actually, I was reading some material. Who told you that Cloudera is more deployed? Cloudera is fine. Um, when I started working in cloud, started initially started working in Cloudera, I didn't really like the Cloudera because there were a lot of dependencies and it takes too much of a time to install and everything. Uh, on the other hand, the Hortonworks is a very straightforward. You have see that we have not find we have not found any difficulty. But Cloudera, when it comes for debugging and anything, it was very mm. intuitive because you don't have to do any manual activity there in the Cloudera. No, no manual intervention anywhere. It's very intuitive. I think it's just a matter of uh, uh, getting accustomed to one of the distribution. If you want to work both of the distributions, it's okay. But um, I would say it's just a matter of uh, how accustomed uh, you are to a distribution. For example, if you are using Ambari, you will love Ambari. If you are using Cloudera, you will love Cloudera. Okay. <coughs> Fine. Mm -hmm. So, so if I have to install it on my virtual uh, machines, what can can you suggest me a configuration? Yes. Minimum of RAM. Your host machine should have a minimum of 16 GB RAM. Now it has. How much RAM? Yeah. And now let us complete it. And whatever you are seeing here, now it has bringing your uh, one node Hadoop cluster is up and running here. One node HDP cluster. You can see that data nodes one of one live. Everything I wanted to see my name node UI. I can click on my HDFS on my left hand side. You can see that you have various services which you have chosen. I have chosen the I am choosing the HDFS. I can go to quick links and I click on the name node UI. It will automatically bring up the uh, UI which I think you are you have seen this UI before, right? In our previous section. Yes, sir. Yeah. Similarly, I will go to I will click on my yarn which is again on my left hand service left hand side yarn service i click on the yarn service i can go to quick links and click on this resource manager ui and again your familiar ui will come up which we have already seen you click on the nodes and you see one node manager similarly i'll go to name node ui and i would like to see what is my data node here i click on the live nodes and this is my so uh, the question which you are asking regarding the if I want to do what in my machine on my virtual box the entire setup make sure that your host machine uh, has a minimum of a 16 GB RAM and the virtual machine should be given minimum of 8 to 10 GB RAM that one second you should be connected to good internet okay mm -hmm. is it clear the entire installation yes is clear yes so yes very much clear yeah and that's that's and that's where you have single node is done single node mm -hmm. HDP. now uh, mm -hmm. we will continue and let me bring up let me add a new node to my existing cluster so for that i have to bring up and i have to bring up a new machine on my uh, i have to take a new machine i say launch okay. instance so, uh, so actually, I have one question. See, right now we are using uh, R H E L. So, is it possible? Can we use uh, you know uh, different different OSs, or it is mandated? It is recommended to use a, a machine with same OS 
across so, the cluster then you it's a java right yeah so so java does not is independent of os okay so you can do okay. you can uh use different oss and okay. i will say ambari uh data node and configure security groups i will uh go with all all traffic and custom would be anywhere say review and launch launch it will take and i have my hadoop training i acknowledge here launch instances now what i'm going to do here now is since our already our um, the one node hdp is up and running using the ambari ui i am going to add one more machine and make it a two node hadoop cluster uh, or in other technical words what i am trying to do is to commission the nodes commission the nodes okay. <coughs> what we are doing here is commissioning the node commissioning commissioning is basically means that graceful addition graceful addition of of nodes to the existing to the existing running hadoop cluster you don't have to disrupt it and why i am saying the word graceful is because admin knows which users which sorry which machines can be can be part of your cluster now any machine can become a part of a cluster if they know the address of the name node because they have to just run the hadoop data node process in the previous section when i was uh, uh, telling you about um, adding a new node at that time if you remember i ran the command hadoop data node manually and then i went to the ui and saw that my i have got two data nodes right so that is not the correct way of adding the nodes to the exist to the cluster because in that case any hacker can add if any hacker knows your address of the name node he can just say hadoop data node and then um, uh, it will become the part of the cluster and any data which is added to the hdfs he will also get the blocks and your data is at risk yeah mm -hmm. so that's why commissioning is known as a graceful addition of nodes but so when we add a uh, node new node to the existing cluster it has to run uh, two processes one is the data node and the other one is uh, node manager so making that machine as a is to run same machine in the new machine both process have to run right it's a, it's a new machine right so you you are con you cannot become you cannot make it as a master for sure uh, ambari will not allow you to make it as a master because already one master has been assigned so obviously this machine is a slave machine yeah yeah the so slave machine it will display you what all slave processes depending on the services you have chosen already it will it will give you that only these three slave processes are available to run on this machine it will okay. it will tell you beforehand because it, it knows that what all services you have added if at all if you have any other <laughs> space h base service is running and you are adding a new machine then it will give you Uh, apart from data node and the node manager it will also give you the h region server whether you want to run it or not okay 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 you got my point right yes yes i got yes now i'll so take at a time of yeah no no please continue we can see yeah, i'll take up this uh, dns of my new machine i can go to host i can go to host on this right on the top ribbon you can see host i can click on actions add new host and under this add new host i will give the host name of my new machine provide the ssh key again i will choose my pem file here at uh, the same thing i am doing it and register and confirm and this time it will ask me to start ntp because i have not set ntp here so it will ask me to start the ntp you will see that it will this time it will say it will crib uh some warnings will come up here so beforehand only i'll go and uh, i'll start my ntp so we have to install uh, ntp also in this or it will automatically it will automatically tell you you'll see that it will automatically tell you okay uh, so actually i'm getting what uh, one call uh, just a minute huh?
one guy is calling me constantly. Just one minute. It has failed. I'll go back. I know because it is a problem. Oh, yeah. EC2 dash user. But, okay. Let me start. Let me start the NTP as well. And let me install NTP. And let me enable sudo system CTL. Sudo system CTL enable ntpd.service okay so um, ntp.service I have enabled it system CTL the spelling is wrong and let me start it Also check the status to find out whether it's inactive or active. Mm -hmm. It's active. And now I can register and confirm. Also notice on the left hand side, there are no assign masters tab. Yeah. Assign, yeah. Successful. All host checks passed on one registered host. I can click on next. There are no master components. You just say what all things you want to install on this machine. It gives you the flexibility to not to install anything or to install everything. Okay. I click on data node manager. And uh, so, what is this client in the previous page? I'll explain you later because to perform operations, you wanted. Uh, something to run right because data node uh, processes they will not be they will not run the commands uh, previously you have uh, I am uh, I'm not you have done already the Hadoop uh, training course right and you have done Hadoop yeah. uh, shell commands also yes Hadoop FS minus LS Hadoop FS minus MKDIR Hadoop, there are a lot of shell commands so you do yeah. through the command line those are command line operations and the command sorry yeah. those are the command line client that is uh, done by your command line client operations like Hadoop FS or HDFS DFS those are the command line client similarly when you run the come map this job Hadoop jar you do it so any operation yeah. which you do which you do on the HDFS or on the yarn framework that is done through a client a client right now whatever client you are using it there those are command line client there can be a Java client there can be C++ client there can be Python client there can be n number of a client Clients, okay. it is installing only the necessary components so that you can go onto these machines and you can run your uh, command line operations. 
if you if you fail if let's say on this machine let's say on this machine you have not installed the client then you cannot perform any operations hadoop fs minus ls uh, uh, hd uh, whatever hadoop fs minus mkdi you cannot do it okay now you deploy it so in this case also it will uh, download the binaries from internet right it won't use the binary from the previously uh, no yes it will not you can click on the install data node you can click on here and okay it is downloading something from somewhere user bin yeah see that it is installing the package 2.3 and it is installing from the internet okay Uh, actually, in our case, like uh, when we are adding this new node here, it didn't give any uh, flexibility on which HTTP to use, right? If you Does remember, it match the no. if you remember, uh, yes, of course, you are adding to the new existing cluster. You are not creating a new cluster, right? Yeah. You are adding the machines to the existing cluster, and you have already chosen uh, when you are doing the cluster setup. You have already chosen which version of HTTP you want to use it. Okay. Okay. So maybe that is the you know doing all these tasks is through Ambari is very easy, right? And it makes sure that all the you know compatible components are getting downloaded, right? That is the very biggest advantage. Yeah. Correct, Som? Yeah. So in terms of performance, which is uh, uh, which performs well when we talk about Hortonworks or Cloudera? Uh, it's not with respect to the performance of what performance of the clusters yeah your cluster maintenance and job for us eventually we have to run the job which runs uh, you know faster so on a large data, data, which is better. better better is not with us maintenance maintenance wise cloud or a manager I think it's better but with respect to performance you cannot say that it entirely depends on what kind of machines you are working on I can, I cannot, uh, you cannot expect a high performance when you are installing Ambari on your virtual box, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So no, actually, I'm saying in terms, actually, I was asking uh, from uh, real, uh, like, for example, I, I, real I, case I would say that both are, uh, both are compatible, both are equally good with respect to the features, with respect to the maintainability purpose. Here and there, some glitches, everything, everywhere is there. But most of the time, they try to address the real-world problems only. What are the various pain problems? They are they are addresses various various pain areas. Uh, both of them uh, are equally good, I would say. Um, but most of the time, when you take about when you talk about performance, or uh, when you talk about the usability perspective, both are equally good. Um, and when you talk about uh, the uh, features wise, I would say Hortonworks uh, are much ahead. Uh, with the feature wise because they have integrated a lot of other features which um, Cloudera manager is still doing that integration uh, Right, so I mean to say we need to segregate or we need to segregate this um, Comparison between various points like usability maintainability uh, features wise stability wise and um, Securing wise what are the various data? Um, what do you say? Um, you have a tools like Falcon Atlas data governance tools yeah, so we have to segregate all those things. We have to, we have, we want to do a comparison. We have to do a comparison on various, cat, various uh, categories or various uh, factors. Thank now you. I say next, okay. complete, and uh, you can see the on the host page there will be two. Okay, it's bringing up my. Okay, only both the two hosts are added. I can click on my dashboard on the top ribbon. Click on the dashboard, it will show you two data nodes. Click on the HDFS, so it has a list of the services. Click on the HDFS, uh, click on the quick links and go to name node, click on name node UI. Go down and check the number of live data nodes. Should show you two because you have now two data nodes. Ooh, yeah. Similarly, uh, I can refresh this page basically and I should see two node managers. Is that clear? Yeah. 
yeah so that completes your ambari installation using internet connectivity both single node and the multi node or two node hadoop cluster basically we have done about we have talked about commissioning also in the next section the next uh, uh, class we gonna talk about the hdfs operations on the ambari itself on the ambari i mean to say ambari cluster said ambari cluster okay i should not say ambari cluster hdp cluster ambari cluster is a wrong word because ambari is managing the hdp cluster so we must say hdp cluster so in the next class we will see how to perform hdfs operations on the hdp cluster okay okay Thank